intensifying nor'easter is slamming New England tonight. About 23 million Americans across 12 states are under a winter storm warning or advisory, with some areas already getting more than two and a half feet of snow. Airports across the Northeast in cities like New York and Boston are impacted with more than 4,000 delayed flights and 1,000 plus cancellations. Out West, nearly 27,000 residents in California are under evacuation orders due to flooding and landslide risks as the latest atmospheric river batters the state. We have team coverage of the storms on both coasts. CBS's Lilia Luciano will start us off tonight from northern Massachusetts. Good evening, Lilia. Good evening to you, Nora. Well, I don't have to tell you, you can see it all around me. The snow has been piling and it hasn't stopped uh, snowing for almost 24 hours. It's going to continue well into the early morning. All of this just relentless weather has been prompting the National Weather Service to warn that travel tonight will be not just dangerous, but flat out impossible. It may be the winter's last wallop. The late season storm burying some areas under two feet of snow. Winds gusting up to 55 miles an hour and heavy wet snow cutting power to hundreds of thousands. Anna, we saw you struggling here. Uh, what was going on? Uh, too much snow, little manpower, little person. <laughs> this morning in northern Massachusetts, the power went out at Anna Troche's house. My mom, uh, she's got a heart monitor. She also has a sleep apnea machine that she needs to have plugged in at all time. And power outages across the Northeast are mounting. Over 250,000 people are in the dark. Travel is treacherous. New Hampshire State Police are advising drivers to stay off the roads to avoid scenes like this. In Derry, a child suffered minor injuries after being trapped under this fallen tree. New York's governor declared a state of emergency and activated the National Guard. There's also winter woes in the West. Carter Evans reports from Monterey County, California. Across California, the drenching continues. Several rivers are already at or above flood stage. This is the Pajaro River and the levee breach is right behind me. You can see where crews are working on it. At one point, the gap was 400 feet wide. Flooding is still a major threat here and roads are blocked off. So we've actually got people trying to make it across the flood waters and the swift water rescue team is standing by and we've already seen numerous rescues with several more inches of rain yet to fall on already saturated ground from the 11th atmospheric river to hit California so far this year. Back in Massachusetts, snowplows are out in full force. The state's Department of Transportation has deployed nearly 1,700 pieces of equipment to scoop up snow and ice on the roads. And the wind is getting stronger, just it feels like by the second. When we came out here uh, earlier, it was six miles an hour. Now it's 18 with some wind gusts that could go up to 30. So even though the temperature is 34 degrees, it really feels like 17. And keep in mind, spring starts in less than a week next Monday. Nora. Everyone excited for spring and summer, no doubt. Lilia, thank you. <laughs>